Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In the last video, we have seen how to use the shift register. In this video, we are going to see an example in a real time how we are using it. So first we will see what we seen in the last video. That in workout we will see how the shift register is used. So in this we come to know the address we are using is W0, W1, W2. In each register, we have 16 bit. So when you say in a real time, we are going to use a shift register. What we are going to do is these 16 bit uh, register, we are going to use as a bit. So you come to know that in each 16 bit uh, register in W0, we have seen the bit. Uh, so that bit I can use as a contact. So how to use it now? You can see in here, I'll place a contact. You can give the address as W0. So in W0 register, I want to use the first bit. So point 0. Then you can connect it out. So now we'll check it. So right now, already you know, when the data input is given, the shift register, it won't accept unless clock input is given. So right now, the clock input has been given as 1. So what happened? The data input uh, true status will be moved to 0 to bit. So due to that, what happens? W0.0 is activated. So right now, the data input is off. And the clock input is off. So right now the clock input is given the status as what? If the clock input is activated means currently the data input status is zero. So that zero will be given to zero to bit. So whatever status present in zero to bit. Right now it is a true state. It shifts to first bit. So you can understand that. So we can use the 16-bit register as a contact also by using the address correctly. So let's uh, assume we'll uh, have a ice cream machine. So in that what we are going to do is we have uh, four steps. Uh, that first is we have to verify whether the cone is uh, not broken. That is uh, not broken or not. So right now, when we place the cone in the machine, it can be a proper cone or damaged one. So first we have to verify it. Because if it is damaged, the next whatever you are going to do, it is waste. For example, in this you can see if the cone is verified as not broken, then I have to place an ice cream inside the cone. After that, I have to place peanuts in that, then sprinkles. So each process we are going to assume as an output. So if the cone is not broken, first we have to place the ice cream. Then it moves to peanut. Then sprinkle. So what happened now? This will be our zero to bit. If the cone is not broken, means what happened? The zero to bit will activate. In that time, the first process will on. And then first bit will be our second process. So that means totally we have three processes going on. So then you can see the input. So we are going to use a sensor in this. So we are going to use two sensors. So one is you can see 0, 0.00. So I am using this input for what now? To check whether cone is broken or not. And I'm going to place another one sensor to track the cone. So whether the new cone is coming into the conveyor. And the third input is to reset the shift register. So we have three output. So one is to provide the ice cream in the cone. Second is for the peanut. Third is for sprinkle. And in the input, you can see, V0.0 
we have three inputs. The first input to sense whether the cone is damaged or not. And second input is whether cone is coming in the conveyor. It can be a damaged or good product. So, 0 0.01 roll is one to track the cone, whether it is coming in the conveyor. So now, how to use this one now? In our program, we come to know we have three outputs. So already 100.0 uh, we have given, so in here. So we have three in. So this one is to check 0, 0.0. I am using for what? To check the product, whether it is good or not. So this will be our check. And this will be 0 0.01 is to track the product. So the product coming in the convey, it can be a good or bad. So if the product comes now, it will sense. And this will be reset. So right now we have only three process even though the register we given us here yeah. w0 w1 w2 i'm going to use only in w0 first three bits only so why are we using only first three bit now we have only three process if you say 16 process now you can use all 16 bit in the shift register so in our case uh, after first three bit the status is just like lost only even though in the shift register it is moving on, we have to assume it is lost. Since the process we have is only three. So right now you can see in this image. So in the conveyor. So what happens? Uh, the cone will come on. It can be a good product or bad product. Because in the conveyor is on now, the continuously the product will keep on coming. So if it is good now, all these three output should activate. It should do the task. So the ice cream will be placed, the peanut will be placed and sprinkle will be on so it will spray the sprinkles off. so right now you can see in the conveyor one product is coming if it is good now what happens 0, 0.0 will activate and then so 0 0.01 will on. So why it will on us since the product comes in the cut wire. So now what happens means, what happened? That one status will be moved to 
in the shift register zero to it. So since it is a good product, the ice cream has been placed. So the next product coming is uh, maybe damaged. So damage now zero point zero zero, it won't activate. So due to that, what happens now? Since the product comes in, what happened? Zero point zero one will on. So since it is damaged, what happens? Zero status is moved. So due to that uh, product is damaged, the ice cream is not kept. So the first uh, product is moved to what? Second stage, that is peanut has been placed. The next, uh, the product comes in the conveyor as a good one. Then what happens? So right now, since the product comes, 0 0.01 will on. So one status will come. So you can see the first two product, the sprinkle has been kept. The second product, you can see ice cream is not kept. Peanut is not kept. The third product is what? It is a good one. So the ice cream is kept. Then each time the new product comes, it will keep on moving. So you can see right now it is moving on, but we have only three process. So that means uh, right now this one is showing uh, that is the first product uh, which is okay. And in that everything has been placed. So like this, in the sequence control, we can use it to track the product, uh, whether product is good or not, in which state it is, it is in. Uh, so for that only we using the shift register. So I hope you understood. So in a PLC, how we using the shift register? The same way, same way only we using in all PLCs. Thank you.